This video will demonstrate how to use Trigger MIDI Mono to regenerate a CW audio side tone. We have a side tone coming in the microphone jack of this laptop here. This is what it sounds like without any filtering, without any regeneration. And now we'll take it to the uh, other stage where we have uh, a regeneration application and it sends it to a filter. And this is what it sounds like after that. And we'll compare the, the waveforms here. I can find it. So here is the uh, original on top with the green. That audio gets sent to a regeneration application. And that's the red, the output from that simple sign synthesizer. It uh, recreates, based on the input, it re recreates the same length of a dit or a da on the output in a sine wave without any rise or fall time. Then we send that to the blue here, which is a filtering. And as you see, the original green and the reproduced red is extremely accurate down to the millisecond. And then the blue is just a, a basic filtering scheme to get rid of the harsh side tone. And let me show you the application. Uh, trigger Sensor MIDI Mono. What it does is it, based on the volume of the input, it triggers an attack and a release based on the input and output. In other words, the uh, note on, note off, the key down, the key off, the key up. And it uh, reproduces that and uh, actually keys another synthesizer, another code practice oscillator, a software code practice oscillator called Simple Sign Generator, which is right here. So the system here is the microphone, Capture One, comes into the application, this uh, LV2 plugin called Trigger MIDI Mono. So when the volume of that original side tone reaches a threshold, it triggers what they call a MIDI note to turn on. And when the uh, element, the CW element, is finished, this Trigger MIDI Mono establishes a MIDI note off. So we have very accurate input and output. So let's say the input is a 10 millisecond dit to this trigger MIDI mono. The output from the out MIDI will also be a 10 millisecond element. And that instruction set, that data, goes to the simple sign generator, this MIDI data, and it tells the simple sign generator to send out a, another newly created sign synthesizer CW element at whatever frequency you want. And right now it's around 700 hertz. So that sends out without any rise or fall time. It sends out another dit at 700 hertz for 10 milliseconds. That goes to this filter. If I can find it here. And this filter takes the rough edges. We'll take this out for a second. So you get a little click and noise there. And it's pretty effective. You also have the ability for hard or soft or keen. So if we take the resonance down, get a little more percussion, a little more hardness to the note. And we can make it a little bit too soft by going too high. So we split the difference there. It seems to uh, have a pleasant uh, sound to it, to me anyway. And then this output of the CAF filter goes to the sound card so I can hear it through stereo, this fader here on the top left. It also sends it to these audio analyzation applications. So once again, just to review, we have a side tone, a very rough sounding side tone coming from a 555 timer chip. 
it's being that timer chip is being keyed by my uh, CW keyer, the Ultra Pico keyer, and that's actually keying this 555 chip to send out a very rough side tone, which you've seen and heard. But that's uh, that's all that application needs this trigger MIDI mono to analyze when that note turns on and when that note turns off and then it instructs that in those uh, that data set and turns it into an official MIDI note on and MIDI note off timing and then that's what that synthesizer uses the simple sign generator that's what it uh, uses that information to send out that and reduplicate, reclone the exact 10 millisecond dit as we were talking about before. And then we just need to filter that because it, it's a without any rise or fall time, it's too harsh, too many key clicks. So the CAF filter takes the key clicks out, you can make it softer or harder. And so it's basically a three application setup here. What's unique about this is we're not using uh, wine our Windows VST or uh, Reaper, uh, the Linux native Reaper, or nat native Linux Reaper, uh, which is not a f which is not free. So you have to pay sixty bucks for that. So this is just one free way to use an LV2 plugin for Linux. You have to go into the archives, the Wayback Machine, to get that that one. And I'm using the 1.13 version. It's just a simple sign synthesizer, simple sign generator. And this is the only settings it has to adjust. So it comes at full volume, so you have to adjust the volume afterwards, which I'm doing with that CAF filter By adjusting the input gain, I took it down about minus 6 dBs. So if we took it down further, and so forth. So bring it up to 6. So it's a pretty effective way of taking a rather harsh side tone coming into your computer sound card, and then instead of trying to filter it to death, to get rid of the harmonics, we're going to use that side tone, that rough sounding side tone. We're going to recreate it using the CW regeneration technique and this free LV2 plugin called Trigger Mini Mono. Thanks for watching.